Hey guys, I just got to the office and I'm about to start shipping. So I thought I would take you along in that journey. It is cold in this office right now. I need to go turn on the heat. Though I might regret it because I warm up really quick. Do you guys run warm or cold? Because I run warm 100% of the time. So anyway, let's get started on shipping. can't do this one-handed. <laughs> All right, well, my computer gets going. If you're curious, Denali, what the heck is that? Like I mentioned to you guys, we have had issues with leaking in our ceiling, so we take precautions and we cover up all the electronics back here to make sure that nothing gets destroyed because I like all of this stuff. So, okay, I'm gonna log in. All right, so I just pulled up all of the platforms. We have uh, how many does that say? 16 items to ship on Poshmark. There's three on eBay. And then this is my main Poshmark account. So on the second Poshmark account, I think there's maybe about 10 or 15. So I'll need to log into that and I'm going to bulk print the labels. Not sure if you guys do that, but it's kind of nice to bulk print labels. And then I do think I actually have like one or two Mercari sales. I think I need to accept an offer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right. I just printed, don't ask me why I printed half on wireless and half. Oh my gosh. This is, I should fold these ones up. These ones don't fold as nicely when they're on the roll for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, I printed some on the wireless printer. I swear there's rhyme and reason to it guys. And then some are on, let's see if I can get this all up here. Okay, these are um, the orders from my second closet, like the coat orders and makeup and all that stuff. Sorry, I'm trying to turn them over so you don't see anything. Those are all those orders from the second closet. These are all orders from my regular closet. Jesus. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, and now I need to pull the eBay items. There's only three. It's crazy how Poshmark has become my numero uno platform. I love it. Let's do this. All right, so I just finished shipping a couple eBay items. There's still, there's actually a couple more orders that came in while I was shipping. Uh, there's two more items that are up in the mezzanine, but I wanna go grab everything that's up there all at once. So anyways, this is how I'm laying out my Poshmark shipping labels. Uh, like I said, I print them in bulk and then I do print it with the, what, what do they call this thing? <laughs> like it's not the invoice, but the, whatever shipping statement or whatever uh we do put SKUs on all of our items so the SKU is listed on here and yeah so I'll kind of lay them all out and then items that I know are going to be up in the mezzanine I will set to the side so that I can just grab all of those at once um and then if I do see items that are in similar bins then obviously I'll look for those at the same time to save time. And then when I do ship out the items, so you may have seen that we have these bags with the, what's it called? SKU number on here. <laughs> so we reuse these and um, yeah, it's great. Less one-time use plastic. So we just set these off to the side and then on Monday when they come in to photograph at the workstations, They'll just grab the bags so you can see there's some over there already. They'll just grab the bags and they put them in there and they're not necessarily in order, right? Like it's not gonna be all bin number AA, right? There's gonna be like AA1 and then BB347, you know what I'm saying? So they're not in alpha order in that way because they're just getting pulled when they get pulled. So anyways, I'm gonna start on this now. All right, so we're looking for bin number HH12, item 225. Whoop, this one is super duper full, which is always makes for an adventure. And of course, I'm doing it one-handed because I'm filming, so we might have to take a couple of items off the top to make life easier. I know I'm looking for kind of like a, there we go, I see it, a skirt. There you are, my friend. So, now we gotta put everything back in here. And I'm not going to put it in here nicely on camera for you guys. 
and I won't lie, I might not even fix it later, but let's just get those back in here. And we've got our skirt. This is a Reese skirt, purchased on eBay yesterday. I think it's new with tags. I think they paid around $80, so I'm gonna ship it out now. Okay, so I just sorted all of the orders for my second store, Potter Room Vintage. And okay, so these are, these two orders are makeup palettes. This is for the blank NYC puffer. Um, these are for, I have some black plastic hangers. Like if you guys ever need black plastic hangers, I sell them. So that's an order for that. This is actually, what's this one? Oh, this is for one of the Second Life boxes. I think that's what this is. Hold on, let me look. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so I also have these uh, boxes. Uh, it's five pieces of clothing for I think like 20 or $25 and they're all new with tags and they're by size. So if you want to buy size one and then that one over there is like for a second life box. That's the repair boxes that I do. These are all for, I think the black floral puffer jacket that's in the closet. And then these are multi-order. So they ordered a couple of coats. So yeah, you can definitely place bundle orders if you're interested in that, but I need to go right well, maybe I'll write, I'm going to write the quantities down and then I'm going to go up there. I don't want to take all these labels with me. So, okay. Yeah. I've got my list here. This is my chicken scratch where I wrote everything down, all the quantities that I was going to need. Sorry. I know it sounds like there's a monkey next door, but that's actually a dog. It's not my dog. <laughs> okay. So, oh my gosh, it's so warm up here because heat rises. All right. I know that I need of these purple coats, one medium, one large. And <laughs> the way my warehouse manager organized this, smalls are back there, extra smalls in front, mediums there, large back there. So I don't even remember what I said that I needed. One medium, one large. Okay, so in theory, this should be a medium, right? Yes, medium. Let's put you right there. And one, no, that says extra small. I must have. I blame me for that, not her. So <laughs> that's whenever something's out of place, it's usually my doing. So that one's a large. Oh my gosh, that tor poor dog next door. Okay. And then, okay, I have some of the black floor ones. Definitely sold a lot more of those. I need to pull six of these. So I need my hands. So I'll follow up with you guys soon. Okay. So here's the coats that I pulled. Here are shoes i'm not gonna be able to do all of this in one trip because it's gonna be insane and okay case in point here are all the coats that i pulled i ended up switching out one of the purple puffers because i saw a little mark on the inside neckline so we will set that one to the side here is another one of the coats that i pulled here are the makeup palettes really nicely packaged let me put all of that there um, yeah, I'm going to gather everything and get this all shipped out. All right. So I finished all the shipping. There's stuff there. <laughs> There's stuff there. There's stuff there. Uh, and now on Vendu, usually my virtual assistant does this, but I'm just going to do it real quick. I'm going to mark an item as sold. So here I'm in like the items form for Mercari. And then you just click on that button, that drop down, and we're gonna hit mark as sold. Uh, you can put in the price it's sold for if you wanna track the analytics here. This is not where we do that, so um, I don't, but so anyways, I'm just gonna mark it as sold. And then, in theory, it should delist everything from the other platforms that it was on. So it was on eBay and it was on Poshmark and it has now been delisted from both. And obviously, it's delisted already from Poshmark or Mercari. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Hey guys. Well, I'm about to sit down and do some listings now. I've got everything packed up and ready to go to the post office. This is kind of just the boring part now. So I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hopefully something I did today was insightful or interesting. Regardless, I hope you're having a great weekend and wish you a lot of sales. Bye.